today. Right. I did appreciate a nice breeze coming <laughs> through the house and the rain cooling it down. Yeah, I know. I mean, we, as that came through lunchtime early afternoon, we dropped into the low 70s and it was like, oh man, this feels great. Of course, the sun, when the sun came back out, heated back up pretty quickly, but it was a nice reprieve, even though, yeah, as we mentioned, it did kind of cause some interruptions to the power restoration yesterday because of the lightning threats. Uh, as far as right now, I mean, again, as you know, they've been making steady progress every day as this power crew is working their tails off, still running a little over 60 60,000 customers without power uh, in Tulsa County, specifically Creek County, Rogers County, Wagner County, still running uh, anywhere from about 1,500 to near 2,000 customers in each county without power. And those numbers continue to come down, but it is still a slow and steady process, but they are working as diligently as they can. And those four counties specifically where we've had the highest numbers we've had this for you know a few days running now tulsa creek Ro rogers and wagner counties still under that heat advisory because of the heat stress for folks without power as we mentioned a typical heat advisory is for much higher heat index values of 105 or above which unfortunately is coming this weekend uh, so uh, but the, the the heat stress for those that still don't have power yet continues for another day 70s out the door right now we'll be in the mid to upper 80s at lunchtime Low 90s this afternoon. Of course, the clouds yesterday held most of our highs in the 80s, but today will be, I think, several degrees above that. UV index is soaring at this time of year. You know, we hit the summer solstice, uh, which was yesterday, and then head into early July. The, the sun angle is extremely high, which just means that, uh, you know, you can pick up a sunburn extremely quickly uh, 10 to 15 minutes at times uh, once we get to you know midday early afternoon so please use the sunscreen early and often high temperatures today I mean pretty close to normal normal highs right around 90 degrees and we'll be anywhere from about 90 to 92 in most spots could be a couple 89 degree readings in spots but it'll be a little toasty and of course still a bit on the humid side at times not a whole lot of wind low 90s in southeastern Oklahoma as well showing you the statewide view as far as these rain chances the next few days so you can see where most of these storm complexes look like they're going to be primarily again unfortunately out in the panhandle regions where they don't really need any more at this point uh, they're going to continue to have some severe weather threats in the oklahoma texas panhandles in the next couple of days so there's some storms in northwest or western kansas this morning that look like they'll stay pretty much in western oklahoma then watch tonight more severe storms to our west and then we may be tracking a, another complex of storms in western and central oklahoma tomorrow morning that would dive south and east and just kind of clip our southern viewing area but as you saw yesterday all it's going to take is you know that track trajectory to change you know 40 50 miles and all of a sudden this in western oklahoma can end up on our side of the state so something we'll have to keep a close eye on and at times those complexes will produce some gusty winds like we had yesterday uh, even as shower and storms faded away we had 40 45 mile an hour wind gusts occurring which is more than enough right now given the state of things to cause more tree limbs to fall and potentially some additional power outages so that's another thing we have to watch with these complexes of storms heading into the weekend saturday we're climbing into the mid to upper 90s Could be a couple storms nearby Sunday there will be a front approaching but out ahead of that front whoo man we're gonna be pushing upper 90s could be hitting uh, the triple digits in southeastern Oklahoma uh, on Saturday and especially on Sunday when you tack on the humidity heat index approaching 110 in some spots it is going to be by far the hottest weather we've had so far this year over the weekend so be prepared for that now that front should drop temperatures a little bit on Monday but then we kind of double back on it with more heat next week and potentially for triple-digit highs as we head towards uh, the middle of next week.